Hi, everybody. I'm here to talk about CES 2022 and what's in store for HomeKit this year. Let's go. The EVE Outdoor Floodlight Camera will be available April 5th, 2022. It will be priced at $250. It will feature 1080p video, 157 degree field of view, infrared night vision, and infrared motion detection, covering 100 degrees with a reaching distance of 30 feet. This is the second HomeKit secure video capable camera alongside the Nitatmo Outdoor Camera. A floodlight camera is an outdoor security camera with motion activated floodlights. This camera doesn't come equipped with a siren, but does come with two-way communication with a built-in microphone and speaker. The E floodlight is pretty small in size, just 6.7 inches high, 2.6 inches wide, and 6.3 inches deep. Even though the Eve and the Tatmo floodlight camera share a similar look, the Eve cam is smaller in size. The light has been said to be extremely bright, which is great. The exact lumens have not been disclosed yet. This camera needs to be hardwired to your home's electrical system, standard for most floodlights in the market. This camera connects over 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and needs a HomeKit hub like a HomePod Mini or Apple TV 4K to process and store your video recordings. The camera uses HomeKit Secure Video to store and process all your videos locally, keeping them secure. The eSmart Motion Blinds are available now starting at under $400, but pricing varies based on fabric and size. You can order this now through any Kalis reseller and install them yourself. This is very exciting because these are the first thread-powered smart shades that are also HomeKit compatible and matter ready. The shades are powered by a rechargeable USB-C battery powered motor. These shades offer manual control using the pull cord and have the ability to be controlled independently using the on-device scheduling feature allowing the shades to work without the use of a smartphone app or network connection. Just keep in mind that a home hub is required for the smart shades to work with HomeKit. Eve has been on the forefront of Thread with the largest portfolio of Thread-enabled accessories in the market. If you're not familiar with Thread, Thread is a low-power wireless mesh networking protocol based on IP. Some say Thread is the future of the smart home. And with the shades being thread enabled and getting matter support once available, this makes this a future proof choice. The shade should charge once or twice a year. A fully charged battery should last eight to 12 months and fully charging the battery should take about six hours. More styles will be coming in the near future. Akara announced two new sensors that will offer thread support. The door and window sensor, as well as the motion sensor with thread, are set to ship to consumers in the second half of 2022. Moving forward with thread will make these devices work more reliably and enhance our experiences with them with much more compatibility as well as reliability while increasing power efficiency and security. Akara committed to adopt Matter support for these products in 2021. They plan on bringing Matter support to the M2 and M1S hubs by pushing over-the-air updates to the pre-mentioned hubs. This will in turn expose the hubs connected devices to Matter, allowing them to connect with other Matter compatible devices and allowing us to keep our existing setups intact. As of now, no pricing have been announced for these new devices, but keeping in mind that Akara's prices are pretty low, this hopefully doesn't change and it keeps it at that same price point for everyone to enjoy. The Encode Plus is the first smart lock in North America to support Apple's home key feature. It will be available later this spring and it will be priced at $299.99. You will have two style options to choose from, the traditional Camelot style and a more modern century style, and both will be available in multiple colors. This will operate as a traditional HomeKit smart lock with the difference being the use of HomeKey. 
With the home key feature, you will need to unlock your devices in order to unlock the door because it uses the NFC technology to authenticate you, meaning you can simply walk up to your door, place your phone or Apple Watch in front of the lock, and using NFC technology, the lock will authenticate you and unlock. The encode also comes with a threat radio to support HomeKit over threat, making it more reliable and energy efficient. HomeKit has two modes for unlocking, the first being express mode, where you don't have to unlock your phone, and the second being Require Face ID or Passcode, which adds the step of authenticating with Face ID or Touch ID. If you lose your phone, enabling lost mode through Apple's Find My feature will disable all elements of Home Key. Once you add the lock to your home, everyone on your home will receive a Home Key in the Wallet app. The lock will have a power reserve, which will allow you to unlock the door for up to five hours after your phone runs out of power. But in case something goes wrong, you will still have the traditional keypad and physical key for backup. You get up to 100 access codes that can be created for different users who may need access to your home. And you can schedule them for a certain amount of time. And once that time period expires, it renders the codes useless. Using the encode lock exclusively through HomeKit boosts up battery life for a year. But a home hub will be required. Well, there you have it, guys. My little overview of CES 2022 HomeKit edition. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, help grow the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.